hi i've finished another arc that and this one comes out on the 11th of april and it's lionel shriver's new one called mania now this one it is so thought provoking it caused lots of discussions at home when i, I was i was telling my husband and son about it you know so you what do you think about this it's, it's one of those novels and it really makes you think it's set in an sort of alternative history we are in the 2014s 15s or that sort of time and she's picking up on issues that are almost what we've got today it, it's sort of like a cancel culture maybe in this world that she's writing about there is mental parity everyone is intellectually um, equal and words like stupid dumb thick the outlawed you cannot use them you cannot call somebody stupid yeah oh you stupid boy what have you done that for you can't say things like that anymore and it it trickles down through vocabulary so you can't describe the thickness of a piece of wood you've got to find another word for th thickness because you can't use thick you know it's it's you know when you're making in, when you're cooking and the sauce needs to be a certain thickness you've got to find another word for it because you can't use the word thick you know it, it's it's that type of thing and because everybody's equal what's the point of exams because exams show that people aren't equal so what's the point of qualifications because the qualifications show that there's a inequality employers cannot ask for qualifications because they're they're choosing somebody who is seen to be so you've got everything falling apart in america um industries are being run by people who aren't skilled because the employers can't ask for somebody who's skilled because it's putting them at a intellectually superior and You've got the situation where the wealthy Americans are seeking medical treatment abroad because hospitals are employing people. Have they got qualifications or not? They're not allowed to ask. So for the ordinary American, they go into hospital just hoping that their surgeon knows one end of a scalpel from the other. You know, it's that type of thing. So it's very contentious in that um that way it's it's this this world that she creates and our main character our narrator is pearson she's a university lecturer um who sees no good in mental poverty at all you know she's teaching these kids or is she teaching them because they're not listening and she can't test them she can't give them exams and she can't make them listen they're on the phones half the time um uh, mainly trying to catch her out at, when she's saying something that she shouldn't. Um, she doesn't believe in mental poverty. She doesn't believe in this at all. Um, and she sees it as detrimental to her two older children who, before this was brought in, were considered very bright. They were considered brighter than their peers and they were curious. They were, in, you know, they were soaked up knowledge. And now... They're not challenged at school at all. And in fact, you know, they, they find it really, really difficult because it, everything is, it, they're not being taught anything anymore. And Pearson is very vociferous against mental parity in, within her own four worlds. Um, as for her youngest child, her youngest child was born as mental parity came in. And so her youngest child isn't, she, she's not, the reading she's not writing you know she's and, and she's watching for her mother to say the wrong thing so she can report her at school you know so that my mum says this pearson's best friend emery becomes cnn's spokesperson for mental parity and then you've got the the clash between the two women um as you're reading it you wonder whether you only ever hear Pearson's side of the story so is she reliable narrator you you, you don't really know um, we hear her argue arguments um, and we see her shoot down the opposing arguments but you you don't get a, a true merge a, a true picture sort of thing 
but it is really, really th thought provoking because at the end of the novel, when, well, at the end of the novel, you wonder what's, I'm not telling you what the end of the novel is. I, I'm trying to say this without saying what the end of the novel is and I can't, um, but it is thought provoking. <laughs> it is thought provoking. I can't tell you that what I was going to say. I can't because I will tell you what the ending of the novel is. And that's, that's a shame, but it's interesting. It, it's certainly promoted discussion and you know, it almost feels scarily around the corner, something like that. So being, you, you can't say this, you can't say that. We're almost in that situation now, aren't we? I don't know. With everybody being cancelled. Who knows? Anyway, so that one comes out on the 11th of April. It's called Mania by Lionel Shriver. So, um, if you want a novel that causes you to have lots of discussions at the kitchen table, pick that one up. So happy reading. Take care.